Amen. Amen. God bless you. Praise and worship. Najua kuna watu wanakuja kanisani na attitude. Wanashangaa mna danzia nini hii kitu. Kwani nyinyi mmelipa nyumba? Amen. You can take your seats praise and worship the Lord bless you. Why can't we appreciate them? Eh? Amen. So kwa heshima kubwa naomba tusimame na tuunganishe mikono yetu pamoja ni mlete mtumishi wa Mungu. Nataka hiyo maneno mengine ajisemee, pengine majina zake ni huenda uh, siwezi kuyakumbuka. Najua tu jina moja, hiyo ingine na hiyo uh, mambo mengine atatuambia. So why can't we join our hands together as we bring this man of God uh, the servant of the Lord to come and share God's word. Praise God. Wala wanajua ukweli Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Nasikia sauti yako bado ni kubwa kuliko yenu. Lazima niwarete karibu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Yeukea jirani yako mwambie wewe ni mbarikiwa. Ah, turn to two people and tell them you are blessed of the Lord. Tell them you are blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mwambie yuko smart kuniliko. Ah, mwangalikie jirani yako mwambie wewe uko smart kuniliko. Kama uko na kinyongo niambie. Paulo anaandikia wa Filipi anawaambia chukulia wengine wazawa kukuliko wewe. Mwambie uko smart kuniliko. We bless the Lord. You may have your blessed. Tukiwa tumesimama hivyo kabla tuketi. Ah, uh, tuingie katika kitabu cha Genesis sitaki kuwasimamisha tena. Kitabu cha mwanzo Kitabu cha mwanzo hakiko mbali sana na Biblia yako. Lalisha Biblia yako ikifungwa kwa katikati. Katikati ya Biblia yako utapata kitabu cha Genesis. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa wale mnaoongea lugha ya Kiswahili kinaitwa kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya 26. Tusoma mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu tutaruka hadi mstari wa 12. Najua kwamba Bwana atatubariki nao. The Bible says there was a farmer in, in the land besides the previous farmer in, in Abraham's time. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines in Gerar. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land for a while. And I will be with you and I will bless you. For you and your descendants, I will give these lands and I will confirm the oath I saw to your father Abraham. Look at hadi nami hadi mstari wa 12. Isaac planted crops in the land and the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. The man became rich and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants and the Philistines envied him. So all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the time of his father Abraham, the Philistines stopped up, filling them with earth. Then Abimelech said to Isaac, move away from us. You have become too powerful for us. So Isaac moved away from there and came in the valley of Gerar, where he settled. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dug in the time of his father Abraham, which the Philistines had stopped up and Abraham died after Abraham died sorry and he gave them the same names his father had given them verse 19 the bible says Isaac's servants dug in the valley and discovered a well of fresh water there but remember this is during the famine but the herdsman of Gerar quarreled with those of Isaac and said the water is ours so he named the well Esek because they disputed with him then they dug another well but they quarreled over that one also so he named it Sitna 
he moved on from there and dug another well and no one quarreled over it. He named it Rehoboth, saying, Now God, the Lord has given us room and we will flourish in the land. Father, in the name of Jesus, tunatulia tuli katika wepo wako ili mfalme weze kunena nasi. Tumeingia katika madhabahu haya ambayo yameitanishwa na jina lako ili weze kunena na mioyo yetu. You are a God who never gathers his people in vain and every word that you release Lord must accomplish it work O oh God. I pray at rebuild a Pentecostal church this afternoon that Lord you're speaking to somebody's heart in Jesus name. Father thank you because you are God. And Lord, thank you because you do what only you can do. Bless your people. We surrender, Lord, now. We want to hear you speak. Open our spiritual ears so that we may hear you. And Father, open our spiritual eyes so that we can see what you're doing. We bless you. Lord, even as I open my mouth to speak, I only want to speak that what is your desire. And Lord, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says... Everybody says, Amen. turn to your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, 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 neighbor advancing, advancing towards, towards your breakthrough. Uh, I'm advancing, advancing towards, towards your breakthrough. Tunaweza keti mungu wa bariki sana. Naitua Reverend Alex Kimani, ni miwakoka yesu ni buwana na hudumu na kanisa la Kenya Assemblies hapa juu kidogo na nimeokoka nimekuwa makadara hii huu ni mwaka wangu wa 23 bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na sikuja hapa nikiwa secondary nilikuwa nimemaliza hiyo yote kwa hivyo unaweza anza kuhesabu miaka yangu bwana Yesu asifiwe sana nilikuja kwanza nikasoma shule ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa Kenya Polytechnic siku hizi mnaita the Technical University and we want to bless God I have been here uh, hata kama sio kukaa nimekuwa kwa kanisa lile miaka hiyo na kwa neema ya Bwana for the last 13 or so years nimekuwa mchungaji pale Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana nimeoa mke ama ni dada mwanamke amen ambaye ni wa jinsia ya kike tumebarikiwa na watoto watatu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na dunia yetu imejaa amen Na tunashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya wema wake. Pasta ni rafiki yangu sana uh, wakiwa na Pasta Stanley and I'm happy to be here this afternoon. Amen. Sijatoka kanisani kwa muda kwa hivyo nimepigana sana kukuja. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ndio maana hata nilitoroka mapema ili waone nimeenda na wajue kwa kweli huyu ameenda. And I'm happy to be here. Amen. Hiyo inatosha naenda mbinguni kwa imani na kwa matendo pia. Na adhuhuri ya leo ni ruhusu kwa dakika ambazo niko nazo niongee kuhusu ku advance towards your breakthrough. Na the theme ya kanisa hili mwaka huu ni the year of breaking limitations. And many a times tunaanzaga na the theme and, and somewhere along the way tunajipata ni kana kwamba tumeisahau na nilipokuwa nauliza Mungu Mungu what do you want me to tell the people at rebuilders Mungu akanikumbusha kwamba ni lazima tuta advance ili uweze kufika mahali ambapo unatamani kufika Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Jambo la kwanza the limitations ni za kuzuia wewe kufika mahali ambapo Mungu anataka ufike so one of the things that you'll have to do is to advance beyond the limitations ili ufike mahali Mungu anataka ufike. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. The limitations zinakuzuia to get to your financial breakthrough. The limitations zinakuzuia kufika into your blessing spiritual breakthrough na ni lazima upigane ili ufike pale. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. When heading to where you want to go spiritually in your marriage, in your business, in your career, ni lazima utakumbana na limitations. Na hizi limitations zinakuja 
hizi adversities zinakuja kutuzuia tusije tukafika mahali ambapo Mungu anataka uende. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And this afternoon to advance is to move forward purposefully. Yaani umekusudia mimi nitasonga. Mimi nataka kufika mahali nataka kwenda. Mimi nitafika mahali ambapo Mungu anatamani niende. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And one example I want to give you is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yesu alipokuja hapa duniani alikuja na kusudi moja kuhubiri injiri watu wabadilike ili wawe kama Mungu mwenyewe. Lakini alikumbana na adversities. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. He was a savior. Lakini kama vile mchungaji alisema, wengine wake walimkataa because hawakuamini ni vipi kijana wa Kapenta atakuwa muokozi. Ukisoma katika kitabu cha Yohana 10:20, wakasema many of them said he is demon self possessed and raving mad. Why listen to him? Can you imagine people saying you are mad? Can you imagine people saying you have come in the spirit of God but people are saying wewe ni mwenda wazimu. He was facing his limitations. Lakini ni lazima age advance ili aweze kuona watu wakiokoka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwetu hilo jina linaitagwa mugoroki. Sijui kwani watu wanaoitaga aje, lakini kwetu mwenda wazimu anaitwa mugoroki. Can you imagine Mtu akikuuliza kawe mugoroki. Hiyo amekuuliza kitu ambacho a a Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Lakini they manage na wakawa na the guts kumuita Yesu mwenda wazimu. In the book of Matthew chapter number 11 verse number 18 Jesus Christ wakasema ako na demon. Wakasema yeye he's a glutton. Akasema ya kwamba anakaa with tax collectors. They are trying to limit Jesus from getting to his breakthrough bwana yesu asifiwe sana na wapendwa nataka nikwambia dhuhuri ya leo ya kwamba hata wewe utakumbana na mambo ambayo yatakuzuia kufika mahali unataka kwenda but you must have a heart that you want to advance no matter what comes your way praise be to god kuna kijana ambaye anaitwa yusufu yusufu siku moja akarala na nataka kuweka msingi ili nitakapoanza kujenga hii nyumba tujenge haraka pamoja na wewe Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Yusufu siku moja akaota ndoto akaona jua mwezi zina anyua ajua na mwezi zikiinama na nyota zikiinamia nyota Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana and when he saw it Biblia inasema ya kwamba uh, Joseph hakujua kana kwamba hiki kitendo kitatendeka the jua mwezi na nyota zikimuinamia yeye lakini kabla jua mwezi na nyota kumuinamia alipitia hali ngumu This man akaungana na ndugu zake wakamweka kwa shimo wakasema hapana wacha tuwe huyu kijana wakaona hawawezi wakamurusha kwa shimo wakasema hapana wacha tumuuze alipouzwa akaenda mahali akafanyika mtume alipokuwa mtume mke wa Potifa akataka kumumaliza lakini this young man alikuwa mepapas lazima nitafika mahali ninataka kwenda Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana wakajaribu kuzuia alipoonekana hazuiliki wakachukua wakamweka kwa jera walipofungia yeye Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana anakutana na the baker na mnyweshaji anasema mtaachiriwa akiachiriwa usinisahau the bible says this man hakukumbuka Yusufu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana baada ya miaka kusonga ndio akakumbuka kuna mtu alituambia kitu tulipokuwa kwa jera akasema nitaachiriwa na nikaachiriwa praise be to god lakini ni lazima angepigana na the limitations in order for him to get to where god wanted him to go bwana yesu asifiwe sana abraham is told that is going to be the father of the nations lakini before getting there He had to wait for 25 years. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Anaahidiwa utapata kijana. Akamuuliza Mungu, "How?" Na mimi, you know, Eliezer ambaye sio wa nyumba yangu, ndiye atakaye ridhi mali yangu. Yesu Mungu akamwambia, "Pana, haitakuwa hivyo, nitakupa mtoto ambaye ataridhi mali yako, atakuwa mtoto wako." Praise be to God. 
and for two at the age of 75 akaahidiwa lakini kitendo kile alichoahidiwa kinatendeka katika umri wa miaka 100 for 25 years he waited wakati wake ufike praise be to god i don't know how many years you have waited I don't know ni nini hiki umepigana nako miaka hii lakini hakijatokezea jambo ambalo nataka nikwambie ni kwamba ni lazima utaendelea kusonga mbele mwambie jirani yako hatukwami hapa aamuongeleshe vizuri mwambie sio mimi nimeambua nikwambie usikwame hapa we need to advance to where God anataka uwe bwana Yesu asifiwe sana yaweza kuwa ndoa yako ilianza mlianza na upendo ikafika mahali ikapungua mwambie hapana hatutakwama hapa bwana Yesu asifiwe sana ulianza biashara imefika mahali ni kama imekwama mwambie a a hatukai hapa we must advance bwana Yesu asifiwe sana oh hallelujah hallelujah Paulo anasema katika kitabu cha Wakorintho 9 mstari wa 26 anasema therefore aimlessly I don't fight like a boxer beating the air Hapana Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Lakini Paulo anasema mimi sikimbiangi kama mtu anakimbia hajui anaenda wapi Sipigani ngumi kama mtu ambaye anapiga hewa lakini i am focused Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana for you to break this limit for you to get where god wants you to be there must be focus in your life tell your neighbor neighbor you need to be focused you need to be focused hallelujah Philippians 3 chapter number 13 the bible says forgetting what is behind us and to kichuchuma and straining towards the what lies ahead of us one thing paul says i press on towards the goal to win the prize wapendwa ni lazima ujue kuna kitu kimewekwa mbele zako bwana yesu asifiwe sana hallelujah because philippians 3:14 mapendwa ni lazima tutafikia hiyo prize you be blessed utakaa kwa amani utakaa kwa furaha because god yuko pamoja na wewe bwana yesu asifiwe sana hallelujah and you need to advance towards your breakthrough because hawezi ukakaa na useme sitatoka hapa siku moja biblia inasema kuna mama ambaye alikuwa na the issue of blood na akateseka miaka 12 akasema hapana nikikaa hapa mimi nitaumia mimi pesa yangu imeisha kile ambacho nitafanya nitaondoka Bwana asifiwe. Mimi nitatoka hapa, niende niguze tu pinde ya nguo yake, nami nitapona. The Bible says alipoondoka, alipoenda kule akafinyana, akapata watu wamejaa, akasukumana, 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 akafika mahali alikuwa anataka kwenda, akapata uponyaji wake. Wapendwa the limitations, the adversities will come to limit you in order to get where God wants you to be. Lakini lazima to begane praise be to god the four lepers wakakaa chini wakisema tukikaa hapa tutakufa tukienda mjini watatuua lakini sasa hapana hatutakaa hapa hatutakaa hapa itabidi twende kwa sababu tukienda hatujui ni nini Mungu atatenda wakainuka bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya wakaanza kumbuka wamekatika huku hawana makucha reprose ilikuwa inakura mtu inakumaliza so hawana miguu kanakaa hivi kwa mguu bwana yesu atukuzwe lakini wamesema hapana hatutakaa hapa biblia inasema wakainuka soma biblia yako biblia inasema walipoanza kukanyaga walipoanza biblia ya mungu akafanya hatua zao kuwa amplified wakasikia jeshi lakini ni watu wagonjwa yaweza kuwa uko chini lakini inuka mungu anatenda ambo bwana yesu asifiwe sana wakakanyaga wakakanyaga walipoanza kukanyaga mungu akaanza kuwafenyia kazi wapendo usikae hapo you need to advance you need to start moving because whatever you need is ahead of you haiko nyuma paulo anasema tunasahau yaliyo nyuma na tunaelekea towards our goal kwa sababu iko mbele zetu bwana yesu asifiwe 
Siku moja nikaona ka video kwa watoto waliokuwa wanakimbia wakakimbia wakakifika mahali ya kubadilishana kijiti kale kalikopewa kakarudi mahali walikuwa wanatoka everybody anaenda lakini hako kakaanza kurudi wapendwa hatutarudi mahali tumetoka we are advancing towards our goal praise be to god Second Timothy chapter number 2 verse number 3 the bible says and do a hardships like a good soldier and do a hardship like a good soldier hebu uliza jirani yako wewe umetengenezwa na nini unajua kuna watu wakipitia kahali kako kadogo tu nikahoma anaanza kulia hii tanimaliza lakini wapendwa and do a hardship like a good soldier hallelujah kama mlikutana na pastor justus akakuhubiria akakwambia jo kwa Yesu hapa ni tambarare nimekuja kuharibu hiyo injiri yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa sababu kwa Yesu sio tambarare Bwana Yesu asifiwe hiyo ndio mahubiri ilikuwa ya kitambo jo kwa Yesu ni tambarare huku sio tambarare pa Daudi anasema Zaburi 23 even though i go through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana when advancing towards your breakthrough number one, trust god si tu turudi mahali tuliposoma isaka anaongereshwa na mungu kukatokezea njaa na ukame na ukame ulipokuja akaamua kwenda kumuona mfalme wa wafilisti bwana yesu asifiwe sana lakini ukisoma mstari wa tatu, you know wa pili biblia inasema hivi the lord appeared to isaac and said Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land I tell you to live. Stay in this land for a while and I will be with you and I will bless you for you and your descendants. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wapendwa in order for you to break those limits, in order for you to advance to your breakthrough, ni lazima utamwamini Mungu. Mwambie jirani yako ni lazima. Nisaidie tumhubirie. Mwambie ni lazima utamwamini Mungu. Wapendwa hatutaamini Mungu na roho mbili. Biblia inasema mtu ambaye ni wa roho mbili. Yakobo akiongea anasema is like a, ni kama a storm that is tossed upande wa wote. There is nothing unaweza fanya ifanikiwe. Praise be to God. Our trust in God ndio itakayo to guarantee ushindi tunaoutaka. Praise be to God. Verse number three, Mungu akamwambia Isaka, nitakuwa na wewe. What an assurance that no matter what happens, no matter what comes our way, yuko pamoja nasi. Sitaogopa yatakayonipata kwa ni Bwana Yesu nikimbilio anasema mimi sitaogopa aa bwana yesu asifiwe lakini ninajua ninamwamini nani hata kama kuna kiangazi hata kama kuna ugumu hata kama ninachukiwa mimi ameniambia ataniacha atakuwa pamoja nami bwana yesu asifiwe wapendwa wa RPC nimekuja kukuambia yuko pamoja nawe Jehova hatakuacha he will never leave you he will never forsake you yuko pamoja nawe praise be to god Many a times we forget ya kwamba Mungu huyu yuko pamoja nasi. Many a times mambo yanatusikira na tunaangalia tunasahau yuko pamoja nasi. Lakini huyu Mungu amesema hata kuacha. Praise be to God. Siku moja Yesu na wanafunzi wake wakaingia kwa ndao, wakaanza kwenda ule upande mwingine. Yesu kwa sababu ya shughuli kawaida hapa na pale akaenda kulala. Akalala akalala kukatokezea a storm the first thing the disciples did was to fight the storm the best way they knew how kwa sababu wao walikuwa ni 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 fishermen so every time a storm would come they knew what to do wakapigana 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 wakakumbuka tuna jamaa merara mahali tuna jamaa merara and he needs to be our first resort wakaenda wakamwambusha See 
vile ambavyo wanamuuliza master you do not care ya kwamba tunaangamia Yesu akainuka akakemea upepo and the, the, the storm ikatulia ah si wanafunzi wa Yesu wakaanza kuulizana huyu naye ni nani hata upepo na dhoruba zinamtii wapendwa tuweza kuwa tunasema tumeokoka lakini hatujui kile huyu Mungu ambaye tunamwamini anaweza kufanya you need to trust him with the whole of your heart the disciples had seen the miracles the disciples had seen what he is able to do lakini nafika mahali wanaulizana huyu naye ni nani hata dhoruba na upepo zinamtii praise be to god Unaona mlima wako unaweza mtii Mungu unayemwamini. Hali unayopitia mpendwa inaweza ti ni kwa sababu inatii Mungu. Mape, you know, milima ina masikio na inasikia Mungu wetu. Hallelujah. Sijui ninaongea na nani ya dhuhuri ya leo. Naweza kuwa uko na hali na unashangaa itaondoka vipi. Hata milima ina misikio. The Bible says mountains quake and hills melt away at the mention of his name. Hallelujah. Unaweza taja milima itetemeke. Hallelujah. Trust in God. Ni wakati wa kiangazi, ni wakati wa mambo magumu. Lakini Mungu anamwambia a uh, uh, Isaka ya kwamba mimi niko pamoja na wewe. Praise be to God. I am with you. I am with you. Sitakuacha. Usijali. Hallelujah. Wakati wanatoka Misri in the book of Exodus chapter number 33, Musa alifahamu what it meant kwenda na Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na ndio akamwambia God, usikubali your presence iende bila sisi. Because alijua presence ya Mungu ikienda na wao, it meant everything. Wapendwa wakati utaenda na Mungu, haijarishi. Hallelujah. Haijarishi bottom up, inue mafuta mpaka 200. Ha haijarishi because uko na Mungu. Yule yule ambaye hakushika hiyo tukutane hapo mbele. Praise be to God. But no matter what happens, unamwamini Mungu ambaye anaweza. Hallelujah. That's the reason why. Soma kitabu cha kutoka. Nyumba ya Israeli wanafuatwa na Wamisri. Mungu the, the, wa, aliwaongoza with a cloud of fire during the night na mawingu mchana ikarudi nyuma. Do you know magari ya Wamisri yalikataa kuzonga. Pande hii ni usiku ni mchana saa saba. Bwana asiwe sana. Jua iko hapa. Pande hii ni usiku, pande hii yao ni mchana. Because Mungu akienda pamoja na wewe, ni lazima atakushindania. Magari yao ya vita inakataa kusonga. By the time wanaanza kuangalia, nyumba ya Israeli inasonga. Nyumba ya Israeli inabarikiwa. Nyumba ya Israeli inaona ukuu wake. Hallelujah. May this be your portion. The remaining half of 2023 that as you trust the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 125. The Bible says those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken that abides forever as the mountains surround Jerusalem so the Lord surrounds his people now now and forevermore. Woo, hallelujah. Atakusingira mpaka December. Muamini Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Muruhusu wa kuongoze. Muruhusu afanye kile anaweza kufanya. Hallelujah. If you read Proverbs chapter number 3 verse number 5 the Bible says, trust in the Lord with the whole of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Wapendwa acha kwenda na ufahamu wako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wacha kwenda na ufahamu wako. Wacha kwenda na vile unaambiwa na watu. Ati sijui ndoa inakuaga hivi. Ikifika mzee akiwa hivi, tunafanyaga hivi. Mwambie yako sio yangu. Ah, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Biashara hii tunafanyaga hivi biashara ikifika hapa. Mwambie yangu si yako. Hii tunawafanya na Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Unajua unaweza sikiza watu waambie nataka kuanza biashara ya kuuza nyanya. Mtu akuulize nyanya. Unataka kuchomeka. Si uko na pesa ya kuchoma. Nyanya. 
Na mpendwa unaweza leta nyanya kwa sababu umemwaminia Mungu. Na nyanya yako usitupe hata moja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana because you trust in him. Praise be to God. Lean not on your own understanding. Siku moja my sister in law akanipigia simu. Akaniambia, "Pastor, niko na rafiki yangu, mume wake amekuwa akikunywa pombe sana. Amekunywa pombe mpaka sasa kwetu wanasemaga, anakunywa mpaka teri, anakunywa mpaka mchanga." Akaniambia, "Sasa nataka tumuombe. Ni kwa nini unataka tumuombe?" Aliambiwa na rafiki yake. Aliambiwa na nani? Akaambiwa na rafiki yake, "Kuja nikuonyeshe." Ah, sasa utasubuliwa na mse. Si unajua vile mama mnaogeaga. Utasubuliwa na mse. Kuja nikuonyeshe vile tunafanyaga. Akapelekwa mahali, akapewa maji, akaambiwa mzee akikuja usiku, Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Akikuja, usimwache nifungue hii. Akaambiwa akikuja usiku, mpatie akunywe. Si hii, hii ni nyenye mmenipatia. Akampea maji. Mzee alikuwa amerara vizuri amepewa maji haijoi ilitoka wapi alipokunywa maji mzee alitoka bila guo kwa nyupa akatoroka mama sasa mimi napigiwa simu naambiwa kai pasta mzee wake ni kama amekuwa mwenda wazimu alipewa maji mahali si tumuombe nikamwambia mlikuwa mmefuga eh hey, mlikuwa mbona tumeopa hata tumeenda mlimani kumtafutia na nikawauliza kwa nini mliamini maji mkaacha kumwamini huyo Mungu wapendwa ni lazima tuamini Mungu hiyo ndoa yako haitajengwa kama ya wengine. Biashara yako sio kama ya wengine. Haijarishi hata awe anakunywa mpaka mchanga. Nimekuja kukuambia kuna Mungu ambaye anabadilisha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In the book of Psalm 9 verse number 10. Those who know your name put their trust in you. For you O oh Lord have not forsaken those who seek you. Wale wanajua hili jina. Wapendwa, tumuamini Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Biblia ya uh, Daniel anasema ya kwamba wale ambao wanalikujua, wale wanajijua jina lako, put their trust in you. Do you know you are God? Unajua Mungu wako? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Muulize jirani yako, unajua Mungu wako? Daniel anasema those that know they are God shall be strong and will do exploits. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The solution ya wewe kufanya mambo ni kumjua Mungu wako. Mwambie jirani yako jua Mungu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Psalms 112 verse 7 Biblia inasema, This man is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm trusting in the Lord. Haleluya. His heart is firm. Psalms 112 verse number 7. He is not afraid of bad news. Na simu mepewa bad news mingi. Wao si juu uchumi inapanda. Hatuogopi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hebu muangalie jirani yako ona kama anaogopa. Ati mafuta inapanda na shilingi 11. Tumelia unga ya 250. Sasa ndio hii nafika 300. Fia ya kwenda job sasa inapanda. Hiyo si, <coughs> inafanyika. Lakini Biblia inasema huyu mtu ambaye anamtumainia Bwana he is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm trusting in the Lord. Haijarishi itakuja nini? Haijarishi watasema nini? Mimi ninainua macho yangu. Nainua macho yangu nitazame milimani msaada wangu watoka wapi bali ni watoka kwa hako Yesu ha, watu wanasema msaada wangu msaada wangu kwa Mungu wapendwa msaada wako unatoka kwa Mungu haleluya because you trust in God unamwamini Mungu Mungu ambaye anasema na anatenda haleluya ukisoma proverbs 11:28 the bible says those who trust in their riches will fall but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf bwana yesu asifiwe sana 
tarajia utajiri wako sijui niko na mshahara tutakura vizuri sijui uko na nini utafanya nini lakini usiamini utajiri wako lakini the righteous the bible says wanamuamini Mungu na wao ni kama tawi ambalo halikawiki bwana asifiwe sana haukawiki bwana asifiwe kuwe na jua bado unangaa praise be to god wale ambao wanamwamini Mungu Saburi moja itasema wao ni kama mti uliopandwa kando kando ya miko unazaa mazao in and out of season and whatever this person will do the bible says at a prosper dug another well but they quarreled over that one also so he named it sitna bwana yesu asifiwe sana wame oppose wameleta hostility lakini bado wanasema ah uh-uh, ah uh-uh. lakini anasema hatutaka hapa tuchimbue nyingine si ni mingi bwana yesu asifiwe sana lakini wapendwa you will face hostilities in your life you will face people who are going to love at you lakini ujue ya kwamba mungu yuko pamoja nawe bwana yesu asifiwe sana si wamezika hawajazika your dreams ah somebody say a big amen Don't allow them to bury your dreams. Isaac akasema hiyo mkizika sio mimi mmezika. Amen. Bado ni ta advance. Hallelujah. Na wapendwa ukizikiwa ikizikwa ukuwa mepale. Aha! Aha! Sema mimi ninakwenda. Wakati ambapo Penina Penina alikuwa anataka kumirritate. Si nikusomee 1 Samuel 1 verse number 6. Niruhusu nikusomee. Luke 6 verse number 22 Luke 6:22 The Bible says blessed are you when people hate you when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the son of man Wakati umetengwa ni kwa sababu umeokoka wakamtenga Isaka wakachukua kisima yake ya sitna hakukuwa mapale Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Ni kwa sababu lazima tu advance Haleluya. Mwambie jirani yako uta advance. Kuna maandiko mnapenda, najua mnajua iko wapi, sitawaambia leo. Biblia inasema since the days of John the Baptist. Iko kitabu cha Mathayo, until today the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Mwambie jirani yako usikue mayai. Mwambie hii wokovu sio ya mayai. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Haleluya. You will not be put to shame. Do not fear disgrace. You will not be humiliated. You will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your wind. this afternoon Labda umemuuliza Mungu hii nitatoka nini? Hii uchungu utaniondokea lini? Haya madawa nitaachana nayo lini? Ni lini nitacheka uko heseki uko sitna bado they are still quarreling. But this afternoon in the name of Jesus the lord make you reach your reho may the lord reach you akufikishe roho bodhi yako shere baba bori andoro bozaya labda umepitia uchungu lakini mungu wetu anafikisha roho bodhi oh shandarararararari andoro bozeka Yosha mikono yako kwa Mungu wa dhuhuri ya leo. Mwinulie mikono. Mwinulie mikono Mungu huyu. Sijui kilio chako ni kipi, sijui aibu yako ni vipi. Lakini Mungu anasema in Isaiah 54, enlarge the place of your tents. 
because in na kuondolea aibu you never remember the shame of your youth vizazi hadi vizazi vya kufahamu wewe ulie mungu wa kale na ulie mungu wa leo kazi zako zaonyesha uku Oh 